this is how we can simply create our logo we can simply create our logo on the smart form now if i check my final requirement i need to add these colors and then i need to add the barcodes to the output of our smart form okay so how to design the smart form so next thing is how to give proper font and color to the text of the smart form to the text of the smart form how we are going to design it let's check it out so in smart forms smart styles are used to design the font and color of the text font and color of the text and the transaction code transaction code for smart styles is smart styles itself smart styles is smart styles itself okay we can directly use this smart styles transaction code so i will simply go to this particular transaction code slash o smart styles create any style name so i will name it smart underscore style go for create button pass a sort description now if you will check here you will find out that there are two important paragraph or uh, two important format here paragraph format and character format paragraph format and character format character format is used mainly for barcode so here you will require to create the node for barcode whenever you have requirement for barcode kind of stuff you will create from here and when you will have to create give the text size and color you will go for this paragraph format okay so i will right click on my paragraph format and i will create a node node this length of the node is always maximum two characters so i will give a node here aa now uh, let's uh, it will be for employee details heading right so employee details heading this will be its short description i will go to font and i will select one of the font family you can select any one of them and then you will give the font size so let's say i want it to 25 and then we will select uh, bold and you can select color from here okay so i will make it red now in header data one standard paragraph is mandatory so i will select it and i will activate it okay i will simply activate it so we have created our smart style for this particular employee heading right now i will go to my smart form and i will use this smart style for the text so go to text and you have output options here in the output options just copy and paste your smart style name so copy a smart style name and paste it paste it here now go to your text editor so go to text editor text editor and here we will pass the node name the node that we have created so what is the new node name of our smart of our uh, smart style aa just pass it here aa come back and activate it okay now let's go and re execute our smart form so go back and re execute it so 103 or let's say i'm passing 104 here and i will go for re execute lp01 and print preview see this heading is coming in red color same thing that node we have created this node right we have passed here 25 font size it's 
uh, font style is bold and color is red. Same thing we are able to see here. If you will increase its length, let's say I'm making it 40. Okay, and I will activate it. I'll go back, get back, back, re execute it, and 104 execute lp01 and print review see its length has increased a little bit right so accordingly you can increase the length of your text that you are displaying and the color also right so similarly we will create for the rest of them so for this employee id it is bold and italic i will create one node for it so paragraph format right click create node let's make it ab and this will be employee ID heading or label. I'll go for font, uh, font family. Select one font family here. Mm, what should be the font family? Okay, times 15 or let's say 20. Font style, I'll make it italic or bold italic. And its color is black. Okay, so black color. Activate it. Then we have got third one. This is pink for employee heading. So right click on paragraph format, create node. I will make it AC and employee data heading. I'll go for font and uh, let's make it to again. This one is 40. It will be what is it? It is again italic, so bold and italic. Let's make it bold and italic. Bold italic, and I will select the color here as pink. Okay, activate this one. Then last one is uh, project details heading. Okay, so one more node, create node, ad uh, project details heading project details heading i will go for font and i will pass here font times uh, let's mark this one as 40 also and font style is this one is also italic so i will make it bold italic and this time i will select the gray color yeah brown color sorry activate it all of the node we have created now we just need to use it in our smart form so i will go for the first first is uh, uh, in the second window employee id okay so i'll go for second window template and our employee id label i'll go for output options and i will paste my smart smart style name go for general attribute text editor here it's format will be av so av come back now we will go for the next one so next one will be uh, third window okay third window right so third window text paste the smart style name go for general attribute text editor and here we need to pass our third node which is ac yeah, let's see well, it is ac right yeah ac come back then we will go for fourth one so fourth one is window 5 project details label okay so paste the style name go for general attributes text editor And here AD. AD. Perfect. I will come back and I will simply activate our smart form. Smart form is ready, right? Smart form activated. I will activate it again. I will go back to my output screen and I will re execute it. So re execute 101 execute it lp01 
and print review. See, right, right. Uh, this is bold and italic. Okay, so you can design it according to your requirement. Okay, you can design it according to your requirement. Same thing, we just need to design it. Then we have this 101. So instead of it, we want to display a barcode. So barcode, how to display a barcode? How to display a barcode instead of text in a smartphone? How to display a barcode instead of text in a smartphone? So SC73 transaction code code is used to create a barcode barcode for us. Then we use this barcode barcode to create a node node in smart style. And then we use it. And then we use this node to display our barcode we to display our barcode. So we simply create our uh, barcode from SC73 transaction code. Then we use this barcode to create a node in smart style. And then we use this node to display our barcode. So three steps are there. We just need to follow it. I will first go to SC73. We'll go to SC73, select the system barcodes and go for change button. OK, go for create button. And I will go for new barcode creation. I will pass a any barcode name. Let's say Amrit. Barcode. For OK, employee ID is already there. OK. Now you can select any of the format. Let's say I'm selecting 128 and go for OK button normal barcode is good okay okay and save it assign the transport request see here table entry was included in the request now if you will go below you will find out that your barcode has been created so if you will scroll it down uh, where is it yeah see z amrit if we go and check it execute it print preview lp01 OK, this is how our barcode will look like. So I will simply copy the name of this barcode. I'll copy the name of this barcode. And I will go back to my smart style. OK, so where is my smart style? This one. Now I have already explained that for our barcode, we need to create a node in our character format. So I'll create a node here. Let's say I'll name it BA node for barcode okay now here just go for name and select your barcode from here just scroll it down uh, where is my barcode i don't see any barcode here why wait a second we need to request it Slash and SE73. Sorry, slash and smart styles. Change character format. All right. Yeah, font. No, 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 no font family. We just need our barcode name. So, barcode. My barcode is not coming here. Z, uh, you got it. Z Amrit B. Here we have got our barcode. So select it and activate it. Bar, our smart style has been activated. Now we will just go back to our smartphone and here we will simply display our barcode instead of text. So this is my employee ID text value. I will go for text editor. Text editor. Yeah, text editor. So you, you will have to pass the name of barcode in less than and greater than sign. So what is our node name? B A B A 
and then same thing ba so this employee id will be displayed as a barcode in the same format that you have designed your barcode now so go back and activate your smartphone and okay there is some problem text 3 is unknown okay i have not passed the smart style here that's why it is causing this problem let's copy the name of our smartphone sorry smart style and paste it here now activate it yeah it's correct now now i will go and execute it so go back 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 re-execute the function module pass here the value let's say i'm passing 106 10 106 105 execute lp01 and print 3 bit see barcode is getting displayed right if you will scan this barcode with your mobile you will be getting the employee id value that has been hidden here same thing if you will create this barcode you will get it okay if you will scan this barcode from your mobile you will definitely get the output this is just the same barcode that we usually see on any invoice details when we purchase any documents is it clear Ellen and Mukul how to design our smartphone? We just yes, need to do clear. one thing. See, a smartphone is all about designing. Smartphone is all about all about designing here. Here nothing is special or anything like that. It's all about designing. We don't have much logic here, just designing. So you will have to find out how many parts are there, create the separate windows for them display the text accordingly display the font and color according to the requirement add the graphics and label and then display the barcodes so it will require lots and lots of practice to master these things okay so this was all about designing and creation of a smartphone